Yes, it's on. I'm gonna do a little video about Samba controversial album covers. Thought I'd do. And this one's by uh, Super Tramp, which is not a heavy metal band at all. <clears throat> they are pop, kind of prog rock, but the pop prog rock kind of fall in that kind of category. <clears throat> uh, their second album came out in 1971 called Inedibly Stamped. This is the back. Not only the back of the cover, but the back of the model. Now, I'll show, I'll show you the front. Are you ready? ba -bam! Okay, yes. Yes, there's boobs in the front. This album was banned in Australia, while in other stores and places, this was sold in a brown, uh, brown uh, paper sleeve. The model here is Marion Hollier, Marion Hollier, and she was paid like 45 pounds, so that's about today's money, 750 bucks, according to this guy called, uh, his name is Matt Lehman. <clears throat> so, very controversial. Um, kind of went under the radar. <clears throat> the Super Tramp, the first and second album, didn't do nothing. Not until uh, Crime of the Century came out. Then, boom! So, the first uh, two albums were, you know, flew under the radar. All right. Scorpions taken by force. The front cover originally was very controversial. It was an album cover with children playing with assault rifles in a cemetery. And this photograph, and that photograph was taken in the, in France. And uh, that was too controversial. But I guess the album might have. To me, I think it might have met uh, how we waste our younger generations in war, how we kill each other, kill the future generations, and all that. So, but here's the CD. Next we have Love Drive. <clears throat> you think this guy has a boner on him. Came out in 1980. This was a groundbreaking album for Scorpions. This guy, the man behind this design, he was in a designing firm called Hypnosis. His name is Storm Thurgensen. <clears throat> it caused controversy Oh, no, 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 okay, no, 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 we're going to go on. This actually didn't make too much impact for some reason, but it was controversial. Okay, we go. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Another booby album, okay? Front cover by Storm Thurgerson from the designing firm Hypnosis. Caused a lot of controversy in the U.S. Later pressings had a blue scorpion on the front cover, like the CD. And it's got the back like that. Instead of like this, with, with a titty right there. Very bad, huh? In the 2010 interview with Klaus Mein, the vocalist, he said, We didn't know it caused so much of a problem in America. We toured at at America in the 80s, in the Americas in the 80s, and we've always had women flashing their boobs in the front of the stage. Nowhere else in the world people would do that. Just America. I like this album a lot, cover a lot better than this boring thing. But you know, there's a scorpion that is, uh, 
um, translucent. There are translucent type scorpions out there. So I know there's a blue one or not, but check it up. Google it. Maybe there is. But I know if there's translucent, I know if it's a red or blue. Um, yeah. All right. This is the band. This is uh, not the band. This is the legal, um, politi politically correct front cover. Uh, Virgin Killer. That's the back. The record company guy who did the cover design. There is. Um, I'm not too sure if this is his daughter or niece. Oh my, um. Here's the band cover. All right. The guitarist, Rudolf Schenker, who is very young, younger than, um, Younger than um, Rudolf, uh, what's his older brother? Michael Schenker. Michael Schenker was only like 18 and 73. Okay. And this ain't a 73 album, but I think it's a slightly older album. Um, 76, I believe this is. So Rudolf was still young. So, but but he said about this album, <clears throat> it was the record label's idea. They even said if we go to jail, there's no question we are really we are releasing this front cover album. Michael Schenk, uh Rudolf Schenker admitted being embarrassed about it later. You know, looking at that picture makes me cringe. It was done in the worst possible taste. I was too immature to see that back then. We met the girl 15 years later and she said to us that she had no problems doing this. So I'm not going to expose that. I don't want to get in trouble. But what's missing from here is this does have a gatefold. which the politically correct one does not have. And of course, this is a German pressing. Now, in Europe, sex is not a big taboo as in, uh, in crazy America, crazy evangelist controlled America, where Where they say that long-haired kids listen to heavy metal or the devil's music or, or devil worshippers, right? It's not the, the, the guy in the suits and ties. No, it's not them, right? You know, but that's the way uh, religion controls government in our countries, causing wars and shit. But uh, that's another topic. But that's another controversial topic, probably not politically correct either. They've taken in certain contexts in certain ways. All right. So, yeah. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, well, I was going to say support the band. But, yeah, support the band. Scorpions. Those were the best. I love the Scorpions, man. One and awesome. I'll feature them one day. And, hey. Um, if I'm not doing anything, December 28th check it out I'm gonna feature a band I'm gonna feature <clears throat> well I'm not gonna feature I'm gonna mention a man who's a fellow Capricorn like me who died on my birthday so I'm gonna do a video of his band see you guys next time bye bye